Hello and welcome to this demo of Blue Page Ultimate. I'm going to start right here by just logging in using my username and password. Just click log in. And that's going to take me immediately to the dashboard. Now in the dashboard, you can see all of these social media accounts that you can connect up to Facebook. We've got Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, WordPress, YouTube, and of course, Bluemi. This is a private social network. So over here on the left hand side, you can see all of the different options that are available. I'm going to start right over here. This, this actually shows you schedules of things that are posted on social networks, things that are scheduled to be posted on social, social network. And then here are the queue stats. And then here we've got active auto posting. So you'll see all of your stats here. Here you can also see activity. All right, so starting right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect a Facebook account. So I'm gonna click right here on Facebook account. I'm gonna enter the username of the account that I want to connect up first. And I'm gonna do this one here. Okay, and that logs me in and connects immediately. Very quick, no problems at all. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and connect another account because I'm gonna show you how simple this is. A lot of people may need to use multiple accounts. And what's so handy, I'm showing you right here where we're logged in to this account. I'm gonna go ahead and log out because when you connect another account up, you will need to log out of the account you're currently in. Come over here and add my second account, so my second Facebook account, for example. Oh, let me enter, yeah, there we go. Okay, and so you can see we've got multiple Facebook accounts connected up here. What's so great about this is that a lot of people, you know, your, your accounts can be shut down at any time. Remember, social media accounts are not owned by you, they're owned by the platform. So the important thing here is that you can connect multiple accounts so that if something went wrong on one of your accounts, don't worry, you've got your other account connected up as well. Okay, so once you have connected all of your uh, social media accounts here, as you can see, I've got these all connected up. Then at that point, you can go over here to Ecom Booster, e-commerce booster. And on this, you can connect Shopify, eBay, WooCommerce, AliExpress, and Amazon. So I've already connected up uh, through Shopify here. Now you can go in and create a catalog and the catalog allows you to create a range of products uh, in order to be posted on schedule to all of your social media accounts and you can pull in different products from different stores, for example. So you create the catalog however you want to create it. If you want to put some items from Shopify, some items from your eBay store, uh, some items from AliExpress, and so forth. Right now I'm just using Shopify, so I've got these two products in my catalog from Shopify. And I'm going to show you right here, I'm in the catalog. I can go to Edit Catalog, and this shows that this is my Men's Shoes Sunday Special for Shopify. And at this point, I can go ahead and select where I want to post this particular post about the catalog. So I can go to Twitter. I'm going to post this Guillermo Zapatello, and I'm going to select the items that I want here. Right here, I'm going to do in LinkedIn as well. I can select the days that I want to go. And I'm just going to say Sunday since this is a Sunday special situation. And then I'm going to select the times. And I'll say that I want to, I want to set it, send it out two times here. And the time that I want is 7 p.m. And then I'm also going to go at 11 p.m. And then here I can just select random if I want or I can queue. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so now that you've seen how that's done, I'm going to show you how to create your own catalog and add products to it. So I'm going to come over here to Shopify. I'm going to add more. And here's where I'm going to enter my store URL. So let me just grab that. I'm going to put in my consumer key. And then you're going to put in your secret key. Now you can see here are the items that are in my store. Okay, I'm going to click Add to Catalog. Whatever items you want to add, you just click Add to Catalog. Okay, so you can see this information right here is pulled out of your shop itself. You can edit it here if you want and create it however you want it to go into your catalog. So I'm just going to really simplify that.
and then I'm going to add content to post and you'll see it right over here on the left. And I just add to queue. And then it's been added. That's how to add to your catalog. Okay, so I've shown you how to do the manual posting. I want to show you there's also this option for auto configuration. So you just select auto configuration here, then you're going to select your catalog. So I'm going to select this one here and add to catalog. And that will confirm that it's been added successfully. Let's just click OK. And you go into all catalogs. And we're going to go into view products of the catalog that I was in. And now you can see this has been all auto configured. So it's going to pull all of the data here, like you see, from your Shopify store, whatever store you're, you're using, and it will auto configure it. So really saving you time and adding all the information that you have there if you want to do it that way. Okay, so from here, I want to show you the content fetcher. So I'm going to go over here on the left hand side and just select content fetcher here. And this is where you can enter the feed URL of wherever you want to pull content from. So for example, most websites you just put the, put the dot com in followed by slash feed. So for example, I want to take from I am market news, I'm going to do I am market news dot com slash feed and verify. And this is actually going to go in and pull all of the content that's been in that feed of IM Market News. So at this point I can post now or I can add to queue. So let's say for example learn how I made 12,000 plus in seven days on JVZoo. I'm going to select that. And here's where I can just go ahead and straight away post. It's going to it's going to pull all of this information in from the feed and then I can go ahead and select where I want to add it. Let's say I want to add it to groups, pages, uh, and on any of these social media sites, I can go ahead and do so now. So I'm going to select a couple multiple, multiple groups here. And I'm going to select Twitter. Let's add it on IM Market News in Twitter. Let's go to LinkedIn. Let's add it on Danny DeVries in LinkedIn. Let's go to Pinterest. I don't have my Pinterest account uh, on there yet. Let's go over here on Instagram. I can add it to this one. And then on Google Plus, I'll add it to Kimberly's. And we'll stop there. Okay, so then I can edit this text if I want. This kind of goes into the story. Just changes however you want. I'm just going to kind of start with the headline here. So learn how I made 12455 in 7 days on JVZoo. Find out more. And then you can go ahead and put in your website. Or wherever you want to direct people to. So I'm going to say at KimberlyHashToRaise.com. And then you can add a photo in here. So you just select here. You can either upload your image or you can search our gallery. So just to make it easy, we're going to search our gallery. And I'm just going to put in marketing. And see what pictures pop up. There we go. This one looks like a nice one. The nice little cartoon graph guy. And that will, that will put that picture in there. And then you can go ahead and post now, or you can schedule it. So I can schedule for 1700 for example, and schedule now. Okay, and now you can see that has been successfully scheduled for Facebook. <laughs> I've got a lot of Facebooks in there. And Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Google+. And I just click Continue. Now, if I want to take content from Facebook, I can grab that as well. So I just click Search from Facebook. And I'm going to enter the keyword of what I want to search for. Let's say, for example, marketing. And that's going to pull content. It actually goes and scrapes Facebook for content with the keyword that I just typed in as marketing. And here is what it's pulled for me for marketing. Now, I can go ahead and, and scroll through here and look at them. Or I can, I can look, say, hey, I want to know, you know, based on the number of likes or the number of shares or the comments. So you can select those and it will order them in the order of comments, likes, or shares. <laughs> so like, for example, here I'm looking at comments, so I'm seeing how many are engaging on this, these posts. That may be a good, a good key to select what I want to add as contents. Okay, I can also search from Instagram, or I can search from Twitter. It works the same way. You just type in your keyword and go from there. Okay, so inside the content fetcher, we can also add to queue. 
I'm going to select the queue here. I'm going to select marketing and then I'm going to add content to post and add to queue. Now this has been added successfully and when I go in here to all queues, you can see marketing. I can go into view my posts and you can see the posts that are lined up to be sent out according to schedule. So this works the same as the Ecom Booster. You're just going to type in the name of your queue, whatever you want that to be. You're going to select the accounts you want that to post to, and then you're going to go ahead and schedule when you want that post to go out and how many times. You select the times and save the configuration. And then it's created successfully. Come over here to all queues. You can see that my new temporary uh, example has shown up here. And let me show you just how that shows up real, real, real time on Facebook. So here is the page here that I have of Guillermo Zapatello. These are fine men's shoes. And you can see all of these posts are coming from Blue Page. So these have been posted by Blue Page. You can see right here, I just scroll down through here. And you can see all of these posts are coming from feeds, from other content, really filling up that page really nicely with great content and it's all posted by Blue Page. All right, now with Blue Page, you can also post directly to your WordPress uh, site and social media simultaneously. So I can go in here to WordPress, and I'm gonna select my site here. And once inside here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my title in. So I'm gonna do my blog post title whatever you want to put in there. And then here's your content here. Okay, you can go ahead and search here, blog. Find yourself a nice photo. Click OK. You can select categories and then you can go ahead and schedule. Then at this time, you can go ahead and select wherever you want to also simultaneously publish this information on social media. So you can do a social push to Facebook, you can go to Twitter, to LinkedIn here, Pinterest, and Instagram. And again, this will go out to WordPress and all of these sites at the same time. Go ahead and publish. And since I've scheduled that, it's scheduled successfully. Okay, and once that has been posted there to WordPress and to my social media, I'm going to go over here just to show you what it looks like. And you can see here is my website, and you can see the posts that have gone on here. All done from BluePage. Okay, and to show you some ultimate power of BluePage, of what you can do on total automation, I'm going to come here to total automation. And here you can configure your auto posting. Now this is going to make it so Blue Page auto posts all of this for you. You can select the feed category you want to go from. So let's say you want to grab content from lifestyle, photography, and home design, and you want to post that on your pages or groups, etc. You're going to select where you want it to go. So I'm going to say I want it to go on my health and fitness lifestyle page. And let's say I wanted to go at certain times. I'm going to say 2 p.m. I'm going to say Mondays and Fridays. And then I'm going to put my note in here. So for example, get your lifestyle news here and then the URL. And that can be whatever URL you want to put in there. Your company name. And this is going to be, again, complete auto posting. You don't have to do anything. You just tell Blue Page what to do. It does it on autopilot. Okay, so another really powerful part of Blue Page is the fact that you, of course, connect multiple accounts and you can go and check them all from this one dashboard. So to do that, you go to Timelines. And for example, I want to look at my Facebook pages. So I want to see this one here. And I can look and see all of the posts that have come on here on my timeline. And to save me from logging in and out, I just use Blue Page. I don't have to log in and out of my Facebook accounts. I just come here, select Kimberly DeVries. Let's see what, what I have in my timeline there. And there you have it. All from one dashboard. Very, very powerful. I can select the account here. I can actually go to groups and select different groups. Let's see what I've put on LedX Partners. 
Okay, and here's what I've got there, checking that timeline. And then I can go to Twitter or LinkedIn. For example, I'll come over here and look at LinkedIn posts on Guillermo Zapatello. So as you can see how easy it is to just use Blue Page rather than logging in and out of your accounts, it allows you to auto post and it allows you all of these different, different items to do there. You can also go to reporting. And in reporting, you can actually check your stats here. You can see your comparison between Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and WordPress. You can see how things are going on there. You can look at your Q stats. And as you can see, you can see what's been posted and what's pending. So you can actually really get a rundown of what's happening on all of your social media accounts at the same time. You can see here graphs. You're looking at published posts here. And you can look at your weekly reports. And here you can see the activity for the past week, for example. You'll be seeing all of your different posts, what's, what's been happening, and your active queues. All of this for the week. Okay, so now that we've gone in and used Blue Page to do all of this fun stuff for our business, you can see that scheduled posts are have now filled and populated. So you can see right at a glance what I've got scheduled and going on. You can also see the activity. So that has now populated. And that is the power of Blue Page. You're able to do so much from one dashboard, saving you all that time, saving you all that headache of logging in and out of different accounts. And that concludes this demo. Thanks so much for watching.